Everybody got your knowledge face on, ready to listen, right? Take it all in. I know that everybody's a little tired. Sometimes I'd like to get you when you're tired so I get your focus a little bit more, right? If you're tired, you want to sit down, it's nice. And I, when I'm at church on Sunday and they're singing for a few songs and I get to sit down, I like that. Pastor comes out and starts speaking. Oh, I like to sit. Although I like to stand too, but. All right, so what I tell you that the life lesson of the afternoon was? Nope, that was this morning. Discipline, discipline, discipline. Uh, you know, it's funny, as I write these and I kind of write my bullet points and have off of my book and what things that I wrote on my book, it's funny how things kind of parallel. You know, we talk about passion and what we look forward to, but then remember this morning when I said, everything that you're passionate about, does that mean it's gonna be easy? I No, you know, and the first bullet point that I have up here is nothing is always fun. I don't care what it is. You think when Rafael Nadal got up, that Rafael Nadal got up and he was Rafael Nadal? No way. Right? And you think that Rafael Nadal today, when he's, he's actually two in the world now, but when he's, you know, one in the world, that he wake, woke up and things came easy to him. No. You think every day he wants to go out there and practice? No. Right? So you guys have to really understand that getting through some of the hard things that you don't want to do, and then do them anyway. I have this saying in my head that I use all the time. It's, I use it just for me, but I'm going to share it with you. Kill the little monster. Kill the little monster. What does that mean? Get the monster before it becomes big. If you are a complainer, stop complaining now. Because if you become a complainer, you're a little complainer now, in a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, you will be a gigantic complainer, right? So taking care to be disciplined, okay, for me personally, and I don't know any other way around this, is to take care of the little things. Taking care of the little things will make you a disciplined person. Give me some things that you guys think about that you need to do, all right, but you don't necessarily want to do. Some things. Homework, that's a beautiful one, all right? Does it pay off in the long run? I said somebody out in the court today, you know, do we always want to wait to the last minute? Taking care of the little things. My dad once told me, this was one of the best advice he ever gave me, pay attention in class. Pay attention when you're there, your homework will become easy. If you check out in class, the homework becomes tough. But paying attention in class is discipline. And when I get out, then I can take care of the little things. Something else. Chores, beautiful. All right, mom and dad asked me to do some chores around the house. It's the little things, what is, what's the payoff? <laughs> you get money, you make mom and dad happy, taking care of the little things, all right? Give me some other little things. How about, I got a great one. How about brushing your teeth? Who here gets up every morning and goes, woohoo, it's time to brush my teeth, I can't wait to do it. Anybody, you do? That's a beautiful thing. That's taking the good, that's, I love that. But who does that? Everybody, we wake up in the morning and it's, we do something, well, why do we do it? We do it because our parents told us to at the beginning. We do it so we don't get cavities. We do it so our teeth don't, we know what the end result is. Does that make sense? We know what the end result. If we don't do it, we know how ugly it can get. So we do, we take care of the little things. And that's what's so, so important. The en energy, and, energy and focus come and go, but sometimes it, it needs to be forced. So when I wake up in the morning, when I was telling you this morning, when I wake up in the morning, I don't always feel like practicing. I gotta tell you, I don't always feel like practicing. But when I'm getting ready for a tournament or a national tournament, I call Sean or Ben, one of those guys, and I say, look, I need to practice. And I'm driving there. I can't say that I'm going, woohoo, right? Every morning, sometimes I am. But even as much as I love tennis, I know I gotta work on my forehand, I gotta work on my return. I gotta take care of the little things. And if you learn to take care of the little things, I have one other thing that I wanna tell you. If something takes less than two minutes to do, do it now. Do it immediately. Don't let it occupy space in your head. Don't wait. If you need to make a phone call, do it now, right? I, I was one of those guys that I'm a pretty bad about returning phone calls in the past, okay? The thing is that you want to do is you want to make that phone call now that you, anybody has an iPhone that has visual voicemail. You take care of the little things and you do it now so it doesn't occupy space in your head. 
all right? Discipline is something that I think that every successful person has. I'll tell you a quick story. My father-in-law is a pretty successful businessman, and uh, I, I get to spend some quality time with him. Last week we went to the, sh we were at the shore together, and I got to spend some time with him. And it's just amazing how disciplined he is on the little things. And I realized being next to him, how why he is so successful. It's the little things. He gets up at five in the morning. Say, well, if what if I get up at eight? Does that matter? No, but why? he gets up at five. And the reason he gets up at five is, you know what he tells me? My dad told me the same thing. He said, because I'm up three hours earlier than anyone else, and I feel like I'm getting ahead. That's, that's their answer, and their program. He didn't. He said he wasn't always loved to get up in the morning, but that's discipline, right? Who likes to kind of, who gets their second win around nine o'clock at night and says they can go for like four or five hours? Common, it's common, right? I'm telling you, I used to be like that, right? I realized my dad would always say, you get your best sleep before 12 o'clock. Why? I don't know. I just trusted him, right? Maybe he's just trying to get me to bed earlier. But again, I just trusted him. But I started going to bed 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And that's what I do almost every single night. So I get that good two and a half hours before midnight, right? It's something. Did I have to practice that? Absolutely. Is it something I wanted to do at the beginning? No way. So those tiny little things will make such a difference in your life. All right? They're things that you don't want to do, and you got to do them anyway. Now, if I have to practice six hours a day, one of the things that I try to do is I try to bring that, bring that thing I call passion in, and I start to ask myself, why am I here? What do I need to do here? What are my goals? And then I try to play those out, and I try to really get involved in the moment. And when I can get involved in the moment, it seems like the, the, you know, the monotonous stuff that needs me to get from point A to point B becomes easier. Right? I know that when you're your age, you know, like if I ask, I don't want to ask Tyler to go out and I take Tyler, take the trash out. It's, he does a great job, though. He sometimes will go, oh, dead. Right? That right there just made that chore 10 times harder. Right? If he grab him and just run and say, like, I'll take the trash out. Right? Like how I throw that in there on this in front of everybody. So now he takes the trash out and runs. All right? So it's important to how you, how you react to everything. All right? Discipline will make or break you. All right. If I show you an undisciplined person, most of the time, I'll show you an unsuccessful person. It's the way it goes. All right. So this year, a couple things that I want you to do. How do you how do you practice this? OK, the only way that I know is to do it for 30 days or more. You can't be disciplined for 10. It just won't work. So things that you could practice at home, little details. How many people here? Be honest. Keep their room nice and clean. Congratulations. How many people here get the constant reminder from mom and dad to keep their rooms clean? Be honest. Okay? Now, those people, we're going to go over a few more. Those people that just, I said that, what I want you to do is I want you to go home after this weekend or after this week, and I want you to one time clean your room. And then I want you to make me a promise that once a day, you'll spend three to five minutes, and I promise you that's all it's going to take, three to five minutes every day for 30 days to keep your room perfect. And I guarantee you after that 30 days, you will be blown away. Your, your reaction, number one, of your parents, the reaction of how it makes you feel, you're going to be blown away. And after that 30 days, you're going to expect it from yourself. I guarantee it. All right? How many people, this is, I'm going to, if you think I'm crazy, you think I'm crazy. How many people, when they go to school, kind of get up in the morning and just throw your clothes on? Just don't even think about it. I mean, more guys than girls, probably, okay? I'm going to throw one in there. For one month, you're going to dress the best you can. Crazy, right? Dress the best you can, right? You're going to dress every day really nice, and you're going to get up. If, you, if you're used to going to, to uh, school without combing your hair, every morning you're going to comb your hair for 30 days. Every morning. You're going to just do it for 30 days. Um, hit 100 serves a day. You're going to hit, I mean, remember I told you serve and return serve are the biggest part? Okay? Those of you, how many people are getting ready to play high school tennis in the fall? Okay? A lot of you. Okay? If I could tell you one thing, you say, George, give me a something that I know for a fact that would really help me improve to, to play higher on the team. I would tell you to go put targets up, out wide, in the middle, down the tee, and hit 100 serves a day. 100. No, not 700, 100 serves a day. All right? So I want, I, want to see, I want to see you guys do that. 
All right. Does anybody have anything else that we could add to that? To to talk about things that we could do for 30 days. Coaches, anything. Oh, goodness gracious. You're like, you want some brownie points, don't you? I love that. I work on that all the time with my children. Say please and thank you. So many times we're at restaurants and people don't say please and thank you. Be overly pleased and thank you to people. Open, you know, that's unbelievable. The other thing that I have my son do, all right, because he's that, I make anybody that's, that he looks as an older person, that he, I make him before open the door for them in restaurants. Who's that, who does that make feel good, that person or Tyler? Both. It's a win-win, isn't it? It's a win-win, right? So those little things, those little disciplined things are going to make you the next champion. I told you that last night that I said my job is to not make you better tennis players, but I want to make you champions of life. And I can listen to you guys. I can see what, I, after this week, I really want you to take what I'm telling you and put these things in play, all right? One of the things, the last thing I'm going to tell you, one of the things that changed in my life as I grew up and as I got older, and we, we actually talked about this in one of our team meetings, is called taking massive action. We, we all talked about that, taking massive action. That's one of my life lessons too, but I'm gonna tell you really quick, is don't let this thing go in one ear and out the other. If anybody has a journal, write these things down. I know I, you can go back and refer to it to my book. Print that thing out because it's free, but understand that these little things these little things that I'm telling you will make a big difference. And my hope, okay, and this is what I'm gonna leave you with, my hope is that when you get home on Thursday or Friday, this weekend, that your parents, even if you're an amazing kid, because I think most of you are, even if you're an amazing kid, I wanna see you, I wanna see your parents go, wow, what camp did you go to? You, what, you're saying please and thank you, you're opening up the door, you're go, I mean, oh my goodness, did this guy like, did this guy hypnotize you, right? That's what I want. Because then, if you do that for time after time after time, you're just gonna be an amazing person. And that's what I want, all right? I wanna just tell you that you guys worked extremely hard today, and I was super proud of everybody. This sun is beating, all right? In my, in my car, I don't know if it was right or not, it said 103 degrees, okay? I just wanna get, give you, put yourselves a big hand. That was unbelievable, okay? Day one sometimes goes on adrenaline. Day two, we start working. In, we start working your heart. All right, we start working your heart. Okay. Day one, adrenaline. What's that mean? We go on what we have. But you know, excited to be here. Tomorrow, we're going to see what's in your chest. And to be a major champion, you got to have a big heart. Okay.